Welcome back to Max Nay Horsemanship. This is something I've been wanting to do for well, years, but it's just, I could never find something else to put it with because this is going to be a short. So, hope you don't mind that, uh, well, it's, it's going to be a short today. I'm going to do a few of them maybe, I don't know. But, uh, I want to show you something that great horseman once said something and uh, he says I don't want the horse to feel my leg on its side I want it to feel the air between my leg and its side well, I'm going to give you a little example of how that works well unfortunately you're probably not going to be able to see because uh, my left hand holding the lead but my right hand is actually not touching her. I'll do it one more time going this way. Maybe I'll be able to see a little bit better. Well, that's kind of what we're trying to show you. I don't know. I probably wasn't as good as I'd like it to be, but, you know, it, and I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Bray Hunt or somebody. I don't know who it was that said it, but they, they did say that, uh, that the words were, I don't want the horse to feel my leg on its side. I want it to feel the air between my leg and its side. And that's why I teach this stuff on the ground before we get in the saddle, so that, you know, the horse learns to feel that air without actually being touched by your leg. Well, it can be, but, you know, my, my, I'm not touching her. You see that? See how that's working? That, that's my leg, and there's the air between the leg and her side. That's, that's what it's about. And that's what you want to achieve. You don't want to have to be kicking the crap out of the horse or using spurs or crops or any of that stuff. No, there's always a better way. Let's find it. Have a good day.